recipient of the Thomas J. Carroll Award for Employment is chosen from previously selected members of the Carroll Society as one who best exemplifies the highest standards of, it, of an outstanding employee and a positive influence on others. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce to you this year's recipient of the Thomas J. Carroll Award for Employment and the 2010 Blind Employee of the Year, Bruce James Wong. Bruce is going to say a few words uh, in a moment, uh, but let me tell you a little something about Bruce. Bruce is the Assistant Director of Pharmacy at Newton Wellesley Hospital, where he has worked for the past 39 years. Overseeing the day-to-day -day activities of the entire pharmacy department, he manages a staff of over 30 individuals, including registered pharmacists and pharmacy technicians, interacting regularly with other managers, nurses, physicians, healthcare workers, and patients. As chairman of two medical staff level committees, which oversee medication use at the hospital, he is, in, he is invaluable in providing quality care to the patients. To emphasize the magnitude of this role, the pharmacy department serves well over 200 inpatients each day. Thousands of outpatients visit of all kinds, and more than 50,000 patients who visit the emergency room each year. In this fast-paced, highly complex operation, Quality control is critical. Bruce and his staff are responsible for establishing a unique computerized pharmacy monitoring system, which virtually eliminates the possibility of pharmacy error. Along with another colleague, Bruce analyzed the medication distribution system and created a standard pharmacy drug-based system used throughout the hospital for minimizing medication errors. It uses a barcode entry with several redundancies built in with a nurse distributing the medication, scans her, ba her badge barcode to, the, to match with the physician's prescription and the barcode in the patient's bracelet to be then put into a palm pilot for verification. This bedside monitoring and electronic medication administering system was an award-winning initiative by Bruce, establish, uh, establishing a best practices approach to medication. It is considered leading edge methodology and a model for other hospitals to adopt. The department's high degree of quality control is the result of the tireless efforts of Bruce and his staff, whose innovative methods have elevated the pharmacy department to a level unequaled by any hospital in the area. Testimony of Bruce's commitments to his profession is the ability to teach his methods and skills to others. He is on the faculty of the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and allied health science as an adjunct professor of clinical pharmacy, where he has been twice named Preceptor of the Year. He teaches students in both the clinical internship and the hospital externship programs, which are vital to the pharmacy student's professional preparation in giving the students a real-world view of the pharmacist's role. Outside of the hospital, Bruce spends considerable time volunteering in the community at senior centers, health fairs, churches, and community organizations, lecturing on the importance of medication safety procedures. He also lectures and has authored many papers directed at professionals as well as at patients, fostering a greater understanding of the impact of medication at the recent American Society of Healthcare Pharmacists Conference attended by over 22,000 people. He presented a paper on visual disturbances induced by chemotherapy in cancer patients and he lectures to the staff at Dana-Farber Cancer Center. Bruce grew up in Newton, Massachusetts and graduated with honors from Northeastern University with a degree in pharmacy. He worked at Newton Wellesley Hospital as a co-op student and after graduating he started as a staff pharmacist. While working at the hospital he took courses and acquired a master's degree in hospital pharmacy from Northeastern. Although fully sighted until, the, until his mid to late 20s, he began to experience the effects of retinitis pigmentosa. He had trouble seeing at night, and he wasn't able to see well enough to coach his son's little league team or to see his daughter's dance recitals. He began to think that this would soon affect his career in pharmacy. As his vision worsened, he stopped driving altogether and later received mobility instructions from the Carroll Center and low vision skills training in a video magnifier from the Commission for the Blind. 
He later received computer training from the Carroll Center and now uses JAWS screen reader on his computer, an invaluable part of his daily work. The hospital recognized the value of Bruce, that Bruce brought to his department and was very supportive in providing adaptive equipment and system adjustment, and systems adjustment to help him succeed. The director comments that Bruce is one of the most productive workers he has ever seen and his work is of superior quality. He also notes that Bruce is so reliable that he hasn't missed a day of work in over 10 years that they have worked together. Above all else, Bruce values his family and his church. He and his wife have two grown children and he is very active in his local church, the United Parish of Audendale. He has been instrumental in planning and establishing the church's annual golf tournament, a fundraiser to benefit the blind community. When the effects of retinitis pigmentosa hit Bruce in the prime of his life and his career, he never asked why me. That's not his way. He always takes a positive approach and seeks ways to make things work in spite of life's obstacles. Bruce is a consummate professional, dedicated to his work and to the patients he serves. He is a humanitarian of the highest order, with a dedication to making the world a better place. His personal mission in life is to help others, using the skills and tools available to him. There is no question that Bruce is highly respected as a pharmacist, a manager, a teacher, and a professional by all those who know him. So please join me in welcoming the recipient of the Thomas J. Carroll Award for Employment, Bruce.